Not leaking, hello. Hey loves, it's A back on your screen with another one. Hope you're all well. As you can tell from the title, today we're doing a little Star Guards video. I haven't done one of these in a while. Since I have the Star Guards series on Patreon, check it out if you haven't already. I answer a lot of your frequently asked questions, a lot of things about life legally blind. And I figured I'd just put it up as a series. So there's a beginner and an intermediate. If you haven't checked it out, definitely go there. But today we're gonna to talk about something that's not included in that series. And that is the idea of setbacks, setting up, and settling in. When it comes to star guards, there's no beginning or ending. I remember I had a conversation a couple years back with someone else who's also legally blind. The way they framed it was that I was in the beginning stages of blindness because I didn't have a dog or a cane. And that made me feel a type of way. Then I realized the reason why I feel that way is I speak for every person who doesn't look blind or act blind or seem blind. And because of that, we need to have an understanding about what it means to be legally blind. Whether you're diagnosed today, tomorrow, or 10, 20, 30 years ago, you're still going through the ebbs and flows of life with another layer of being legally blind on top. That means everything you do from the time you get up to the time you go to bed is impacted by your visual impairment. I think back to when I was diagnosed at 21, mind blowing to think that was what, 13 years ago almost? Time is going by too fast if you ask me. And I didn't know what I know now, but had I, I would have appreciated the vision I had back then. That's telling you a lot. I'm not saying I would have known to do things any differently or any better. You only know what you know at the moment. You only do with what you have. I just remember feeling away when I was 21 and what I would give today to have that vision that I had back then or even what I had at 25. What I see today in 2022, I wish I could have 2020 vision. That's all I'm gonna say. I don't mean the year. My vision back in 2020 wasn't that good either, but hey, even that I would go back. If I could reset like a video game back to a checkpoint, I would. Clearly a little rusty, so let me go back to the top. If you're new to this channel, I have a degenerative eye disease, which means over time it gets worse. So when I talk about wishing for what I had in the past, it was better in the past. I wasn't always like this. I had perfect vision until about 19. It diminished. I thought I just needed glasses. As life and luck would have it, mm, that wasn't the case. And we are where we are today. And the scariest part is not knowing where I will be tomorrow. But we'll talk about that in another episode. I wanted to make this video today to share with all of you who are going through star guards or similar diseases that there are going to be setbacks. It's inevitable. You're going to feel like life is being held back by your eye disease. Part of that is what you tell yourself. Part of that is there really are obstacles. I will never lie to you, and that's why I always say in these videos that you can achieve most of everything that you want, but there's some things that simply can't be because losing vision is an actual limitation. I wish I could say you can be, do, have whatever you want, but that's not the truth. And I think we need to ground ourselves in the truth to be able to tackle with the torment that diseases like this cause. We need to have a little bit of optimism, but be realistic with it. A lot of you guys get discouraged every day. Trust and believe I get discouraged too, at least 10 times a day if I'm honest with you. So I've been there, I am there, I'm gonna be there probably. And it's not about acceptance either, because as much as I accepted this is what it is, it always changes. And that's why you have to settle in. That goes for anything in life, you're always gonna be settling in. There's always gonna be change, that is inevitable, but it's up to you to decide if you're gonna have a malleable mindset that allows you to shift your perspective and change with the changing tides, whether it be you lose more vision or something happens with your career or your family ties, your friendships, your love life, whatever it is, there's always ebbs and flows and that's how life goes. The only thing about blindness is it feels like it in, intertwines with everything and only someone going through it can truly understand. I'm gonna side note and share a conversation I had with my cousin a couple weeks ago. We were talking and I was telling her that there's certain aspects and perspectives that I have and I can only speak for me but you can let me know if you feel the same too. I know I wouldn't have these traits if I didn't go through the trials and tribulations of losing sight. She was trying to say, no, 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 every woman goes through this. And I'm saying, I get what you're saying. I'm not saying you're wrong, 
but the shift happened because of sight loss. And because of that shift, I start from a different point. We get to the same conclusion, whatever pillar of life you choose, but the reason why comes from a different place and that's why it's not the same. I hope I'm making sense. This is usually how I talk on Patreon and because I'm more transparent with the Patreon fam, they kind of understand more, but that's all I'm gonna say up here today. I share that story to say that in life, you might feel like you're unaligned with your purpose or your path and you very well, <laughs> you very well might be at certain points and intervals, but just having the awareness and acknowledging that that is okay because you're not at the same playing field makes things not better but just more realistic for you and then you're less hard on yourself i think the biggest setback of star guards in my opinion is losing your sense of self and in losing your sense of self feeling like you're helpless or you have to be vulnerable with people that you don't want to you know how many times i have to tell someone i'm blind i'm like i don't really want to have this conversation with you right now because now you're gonna have to ask me a million one questions and what i wanted to get done could have been done in 10 seconds but you get into this rhythm of realizing that in order to get what you want done you're gonna have to compensate certain things I feel like I have a myriad of things on my mind to say right now, so I'm gonna to try to streamline it with this. So yes, there are gonna be setbacks, and yes, you may feel set up, but like I said, the most important thing is you settle in. Settle into what makes you you. Don't allow this disease to tether you and make things worse for you than they already are. Life is hard for everyone. I've just decided I'm accepting that. Sometimes my life seems to be harder than other people, but I realize, you know, a lot of people just don't share what they're going through and that's the truth. And at the end of the day, if I'm completely transparent with you, my hardest trials in life have nothing to do with sight. And that lets you know a lot because this this right here is a lot wrapping up this i just hope that this message finds you well if you feel discouraged if you feel distraught if you feel discomfort if you feel discouraged find peace in knowing that you're exactly where you're supposed to be i don't believe everything happens for a reason but i believe we give things a reason if you decide in this moment i'm supposed to feel this way for this reason and it'll get me to a better place it served its purpose and if you have any other questions leave it in the comment section below please as i've been saying for the last few years no dms they're too small to see and plus i don't want to get my phone to read it out to me because sometimes when i try to dm back voice to text it sends the wrong thing and i'm not dealing with that mess so Anything you want to say, leave it in the comment section below. And until next, I was going to say next week, but we probably won't do a Star Guards video next week. <laughs> until next week, stay safe, stay sane, stay blessed. Love and later.